I'm Dr. Rebecca Brown, and I'm a pediatric surgeon at Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. And I'm Vic Garcia, also from the Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. Hi, I'm Emily McKenna, and I am a nurse practitioner with the Chest Wall Center. I'm Christina Bates, and I'm also a nurse practitioner with the Chest Wall Center. I am Amy Kramer. I'm Kristen Brouch. I'm Abby Sester, and, and we, we are, are your Chest Wall Center, Center nurses. nurses. We are here today to discuss telepectus, performing FMF brace adjustments through telemedicine. Here's what you will need. A webcam, a Phillips head number one screwdriver, a Phillips head number two screwdriver, scissors, and possibly some spare parts, such as an extra compression plate, extra compression pads, and screws. Before you get started, you will need to make sure you have adequate space for proper positioning within the webcam. We must be able to see neck to belly, you will also want to have at least one adult to assist with adjustments. It is also important to know that the Phillips head number one screwdriver is to be used on the trap piece only and the Phillips head number two screwdriver to be used on all other screws. Be sure the screwdriver fits appropriately, otherwise screws may become stripped. Note that screws connecting pieces come in pairs. Do not go all the way with one screw before going halfway with the other. When the visit starts, we will first want to check the brace fit. You should be able to take a deep breath in without restrictions and be able to place at least one finger at each side. Next, we will check how loose the brace is by having you show us how easily the brace moves up and down. We will also want to check your skin to make sure there are not any areas of skin breakdown or irritation. We will also want to see how easily your chest can be pushed in by having your parent or guardian push on the area that sticks out until it is in neutral position. Now we are ready to make the brace adjustments. The nurse and provider will instruct you on which screws and pieces to adjust. Once the adjustments are made, we will ensure that the brace fits well and is providing good pressure by having the patient move the brace up and down again. We will then have you hold the brace up so we can check the entire brace to anticipate future adjustments and the possibility of needing spare parts. Don't forget about the white to red finger tests and the breathing exercises. We look forward to serving you through our telepectus program. 